Okay, we are back with our next page that we're going to be working on. And this is going to be our next insert um, page, our extra, and a matching page to go with it. So what we're going to do is you're going to have some pieces. I cut some pieces out of vinyl to do my title um, just because I like the vinyl. And this page is a little bit similar to the one that we did before where we're going to have a pocket and a cute scene. So um, you're going to have some pieces here that, let's see, let's start with, we'll start with the page and then we'll do the title after that. Okay, so you have a page, you have a piece that um, looks like a fireplace and you'll have three score marks. So you're going to just fold the paper onto the score marks like this. And I'm just going to give it a good little rub with my bone folder here. That always makes your lines nice and crisp. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to take your background piece. And we're actually going to slip it in here, but what we want to do is actually glue it into place. So I'm just going to open this back up and get my glue. I'm just going to put some glue around here. See, I left my glue open. All right, hold on. Get another one. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue around the edge. And on the inside there like that. I'm just going to lay this nice and flat on the inside like that. Okay, and that's supposed to be like my brick look. I did use a pattern paper for that. <clears throat> okay, and then what we're going to do is um, you'll have a piece that kind of looks like a mantle. And it's got some stockings pre-cut. So that's going to go right here on our piece. So I'm just going to put some glue on there. Okay. I'm just going to center that on there like that. Okay. And then we actually have um, in our, it, I cut out of vinyl, of course you could cut yours out of paper, um, the fire that's going to go into the fireplace. So I have two pieces here with that. And I'm just going to get my transfer tape here. Let's see if I can keep this on screen here for you. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a little rub. Okay, I'm going to put my yellow piece down first. I'm going a little bit below where the line would be, you know, for the bottom of the fireplace here. And I'm just going to take the red piece. I accidentally cut mine on um, cardstock, that's why it's actually cut out versus the yellow piece. So. But it's okay, because I can still get it off. Alright, I'm going to get my fireplace in here going. Alright, then you also will have uh, four stockings. So I'm just going to get those glued on. And they will fit perfectly right on the slots for the mantelpiece, so you know right where to put them. Okay, then we also have the tops to the stockings, and those I cut mine out of vinyl as well. You could use paper, cardstock, whatever you like. So I'm just going to put 
put my glue top back on and give this a rub. And they're all the same, so it doesn't matter which one goes on to which stocking. They will fit each one. Or I should say every one. going to do is uh, we have a frame that's going to go around the outside here just so it looks like um, a wood frame around it I'm going to glue that down nicely. Okay, so there we go. Now what we're going to do is um, you're going to have a tag that's going to go on the inside here. And let's see. Okay, so you're going to have two cuts that will go on your tags. We're just going to glue those down as well. Put some glue around the edge. Okay, and then the other side. And of course we've done these before so this is you know the easy part all right we can put that aside for the moment then we have our title so our title um, it's going to have a score mark on it right up here so you're going to want to fold that that's going to be the part where we've put it inside our pocket page and it flips over okay and then you're going to have um, three different sizes of the Noel and I'm going to, I think I'm going to need a little bit bigger piece of uh, transfer tape. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this down a little bit because this is really big. Okay. So I have my transfer tape, and I'm just going to lay it over the Noel okay. and that's gonna sit nicely on here and again you could cut this out of cardstock if you want I just really like vinyl so I just like to add a little vinyl to my project but since it's such a big font it should cut perfectly fine out of paper if you want to do that. Okay, I'm going to take the black one. Give it a good rub. it right inside and then the ornament for our O I'll sit right inside there like this
Okay, so now we are ready to add this to our, um, <coughs> our pocket page. Excuse me. So again, like usual, we're going to have it so that the opening is to the right and the left. And we're going to put some glue on the inside of our tab here. Like this. We're going to open up the pocket and slip it inside. Give that a good rub. Okay. And then we're going to go back to this page. And what we need to do is we're going to put, we're going to make a little pocket here. So what we need to do is put glue on the flaps here, but we're putting it on the outside of the flap. So you want to fold it down and then get your glue on there. We want to make as many spaces and places for photos and such as we can. Um, so we have this nice pocket. So this is going to go on the front of our page. Again, the opening is over here to the right. And the opening of our page is to the right. So we're just going to get this on here. And press that down. I'm actually going to use my roller to help me get this pressed down nicely. really want that to stick. Okay. Let's see, I think I need a little bit more glue under here. I'm actually going to use my other glue. This is a quick drying um, scotch glue that you actually cannot get, I don't think, anymore. Which makes me sad because it's really great glue. Okay, Let's get that held down for a second. Alright, and then our Noel will sit over the front and then when we are ready, our pocket is dry. Just give that a little test to make sure it opens. Yep. And our pocket, our tab will sit right inside of our pocket. And of course, we'll still have the tab that sits inside the pocket when we get the page installed. So there's that. All right, that's our next page. And we will be back with a page after this. All right, thanks for watching.